Hi, I'm Carl from London, um, I'm 24, and I'm a freelance animator and illustrator. I studied for three years at the University of Westminster, which is just over in Harrow in North London. Um, I graduated in 2009, and after about a year out, I didn't really feel I was ready to go straight into industry stuff. So I saved up a bit of money and took out a professional career development loan. It's a really long way that they put it. Um, and went for a course at um, Central St. Martins doing a postgrad diploma in character animation, um, which lasted a year. So I started in 2010 and graduated in 2011. So after that, I had a bit of time doing an internship with a small studio in Shoreditch. But um, after that, I kind of realised I wanted to get this loan paid off and get a bit of money in. So I applied with a job agency just in central London and ended up with a job at the Museum of London working in the retail team. Um, so it's not something that I trained for, but had some experience with retail in the past. And that's kind of why I ended up. And I've been working there for a year and three months, which is a lot longer than I thought. <laughs> but um, um, it's been quite flexible because I've done other projects there in the time. I've recently spent about three to four months working on a short film um, as an assistant, um, which is again something that I would have trained for in the past, though. It's right up my alley, and because I was temping at the museum, I had some money coming at the same time. So it's kind of been a balancing act, and I've also been able to do some illustration stuff for a, web, for a website, and also do some screen printing um, for uh, my own business kind of stuff, which I'm handily wearing now because I'm a shameless self promoter. And <laughs> um, so it's been quite helpful, but. I think it's been quite hard for myself and a lot of people who went down a similar path in terms of animation or graphics or illustration to find something um, within the creative industry that's steady and that lasts over a long enough period of time where you can you know, do a job that you really love and that you've trained for without having to supplement it with um, something else on the side. So I think that might be one of the uh, harder things that people doing this kind of work are finding at the moment, um, or just from my own experience anyway. So hopefully that's of interest to you guys, um, and I'll speak to you soon I guess. Bye.